Hey YouTubers, I got a really, really, really big article I want to throw up there. This actually came a few hours ago. Um, sent to me, it was sent to me. I was tagged in it on uh, on Facebook. Guys, if you need to message me, if you need to message me or send me a link like this, go to the top of my channel. You'll see a Facebook link to my f fan page. Message me on there if you need to send me a message, guys. All right? Uh, a current affair is from a current affair. Um... Let me zoom this out here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, cashless evacuee stealing from shops with ATMs down. So it looks like ATMs are down. Electrical problems are happening uh, with the grid right now with the bushfires in Australia. This is a big deal because this goes to show what our strength is when it comes to uh, being saved. Everyone's in, in the back of their minds. They're always have this sense of comfort that the government's going to come and save them. If something happens, the government is there for them, that they will be saved. But right now, with people escaping the brush fires and, and, and trying to make ends meet with getting petrol for the car and this and that and finding uh, areas to relocate to. And then I just did a, a video the other day on my channel discussing this problem about how water water's being brokered out or corporate corp, water's being incorporated in Australia and the people don't own their own water. It's like disgusting. A shopkeeper on the New South Wales South Coast says locals are facing bedlam as hordes of people jam the roads in a bid to escape the path of the brush fires before the weekend. So it's moving there, it's moving there, it's moving there. Today's still Thursday, it's Friday there right now in, in, in New South Wales. It's still Thursday where I'm at. With the state of emergency taking hold from tomorrow in New South Wales and authorities calling on people to leave affected areas, lawless behavior is reportedly on the rise. A number of towns in the south coast have been cut off for days and are running out of supplies. So shopkeeper Sue said it had been bedlam for south coast locals, a current affair. They were stealing from the supermarket because they had to feed the family and they had no money. Shopkeeper Sue told a current affair. People were just panicking, especially the kids. The kids were just really worried. Uh, Mr. Ma uh, uh, Miss Manzoli runs a local shop in Sus Sussex Inlet. Inlet. Holy crap. Then as well, a 2.0 right here, people. She told visitors to get out to to get out of town because they're using up resources the locals will need. You can't accept you can't access petrol. Gas ran out. Chaos at the supermarkets. She said, "All the ATMs are down, and young people these days travel with no money, so they were even more panicked." So yeah, look at that! Holy crap! Holy smokes! Miss Mazuli's son had to deliver her some emergency supplies in from the in, in form of a gas bottle, a jerry can of fuel, a fridge and a generator. But even for those that have left, the go the going has been slow and frustrating. Drivers found themselves stuck in traffic banks that extend for kilometers. Guys, this is a, a huge deal what's happening right now. These fires are out of control. They started prematurely this year. You do have wildfires in Australia. Uh, every two to three years, you get a re, uh, like a rebirth of them. Right now, where I am, I live in the Rockies. So right now, we're on a down pattern for the next maybe year to two more years because we had a major, major fires. We had about 660 fires in our area. Uh, luckily, my town wasn't affected, but we did have the thick soup, the thickness in the, the, the sky, the haziness, can't breathe, can't jog, can't walk outside. We did have that. But once that brush is gone... You have room for re... They have to... What the government needs to do, because the government wants to govern everything, why don't they just start governing controlled fires? Here, in this province, we do controlled fires. We, we actually do controlled fires. They organize it. They set it up. They have firefighters there. They do controlled fires across the province pretty much every two to three years to clean up any brush or any, any just, you know, regular Mother Nature stuff. This happens naturally. But what's happened in Australia, it's prematurely started about six weeks ago. Six weeks before fire season started, and that's becoming a huge problem. Now, with them, I just covered it here on my channel. With them, um, here, I'll show you guys. With them, let me go back to my channel here, guys. I'm sorry. I was just watching uh, the walking journey here, Anthony. Check out his channel when you get a chance. I covered it here on my channel. Right there. Australia's water goes corporate while country burns. 
It's like, it's disgusting. It's like, really? So we got the housing affordability issue. And if you own a house, you say, oh, I don't know, Mike, well, your house broke because you can't even get gas in your car. And you barely have any cash, gold, and silver. So that's why I, we had people on the show. We had people on Mike of the Night. We keep discussing, guys, you need to prepare for the unprepared. Dry food packs. You could buy one of those like Tupperware big ones that are good for 10, 20 years in those Mylar bags and stuff and the, the, the dry freeze stuff. Stuff that you could you could access when you need if there's an emergency like this that, that doesn't expire for 10, 20, 30 years. You need this stuff, guys. I live in the country. I have land. I could grow stuff. I could, I could do all kinds of stuff where I'm at. I could even go hunting 10 minutes out of town. Walking 10 minutes out of town, I could go hunting. But the problem is I still have survival stuff. Even though I'm in the country, I could weld my water. I could do whatever I want, right? But but I still have a preparedness plan. I still have a bug out bag. My wife and I both each have a bug out bag with all the survival things we need. We have a bug out bag in the car. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. Preparedness is very important. And right now, this is a good example of what's happening in Australia. This is a good example of people in the back of their minds thinking the government's going to come and save them. Well, that's not the case. You, it's pretty much every man for himself and 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 people stealing food. This is just the beginning. I really, really hope I've been sending my prayers. I've been praying and praying um, that things get better in Australia. I really have. I, I it's 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 been tough. It's been a tough run for the last ten years for the local Australian proper. They've been they've hit they've hit a wall and and now it's starting to fracture and you're starting to see it now. And. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're down under, let me know. I'm sending you guys my prayers wholeheartedly. I really, really hope this gets fixed because it's Mother Nature, right? And oh, this is a great, great, this is a great patsy for global warming now for them. No, it's not. It's it's brush. It's dry brush. And if you go five to ten years without clearing it or doing controlled burns, you're going to have this rampant stuff. It happened in Portugal two years ago where fires were moving at 30, 40 kilometers an hour with the wind. Just, just... Just out of control. But like I said, this needs to be, instead of pr uh, uh, um, predicting, oh, Florida's going to be underwater. Oh, uh, England's going to be Siberia by 2020. I showed you guys that article. India's going to be, um, uh, uh, Britain's going to be Siberia by 2020. It's going to be completely frozen in tundra. Why don't they predict, oh, if this tri brush doesn't, doesn't get cleared out, we're going to have huge fires in the next couple of years. Why don't they predict important things that actually, that actually are going to happen and affect us as, as opposed to trying to predict stuff that they can't, they, can't they, they have no handle on? I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I really want to know. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for joining the channel. Have a good one, guys.